Europe treated us to a signature up and down season. With a surprise or two sprinkled along the way, we were kept guessing till pretty much the final day who would end up making worlds. After reaching the semis at the first major in Copenhagen, Carmen Corp sat pretty in blue atop the EU tree. What followed was the online story of the season. Back in EU, Casey finished outside the top 16 in Open Qualifier 5, although they were knocked the lower bracket by the mighty Sir, no shame in that, before top Googers came along and finished the job. The brutal points drop let Oxygen into the London Major in their place, where a silver medal would take Joyo and Co to Worlds at Casey's expense. Furia! Eliminate the all English super team! Thankfully for the blue wall, Rise and Co's so called hate watch proved fruitful, and now they have a chance to seek retribution in Fort Worth. Only one team fields the same roster at this World Championship as the last one, barring an enforced change behind the scenes, of course. To be fair, why fix what ain't broke? 2024 hasn't been quite as fruitful as last season's conveyor belt of silverware, as while in Copenhagen they were a golden goal away from the grand final. It's G2 right here. It's right, it's open! G2! London was trickier, losing to the team they put to the sword in Copenhagen to bow out in the quarterfinals. Vitality have, at times, reached their peaks from last season, but can they do it all again in Fort Worth when they finally get to defend their World Championship crown? Team BDS have been a strange one. With the GOOE leading Exotic and Drali to the final two online event wins of the season and plenty of hype going into both majors. Sadly, the lands haven't been quite as abundant for the 2022 world champ and his forever all. Going out to the team they beat in the 2022 finals in Copenhagen. This is Daniel! It's in! Before things got real ugly against EU's number one world seed, spoilers, in London. Seiko to the backboard! Double tap! BDS are never scared of a fight, and they're going to be gagging to lift the most prestigious trophy in the game for a second time. Don't say we didn't warn you. Introducing Europe's best of the best. No 50s to be found. Instead, it's juicy. Air dribble, block play, and in. It's just such a pillar to this defense. Pass. And then the Brilliant. offense. After scrapping through to Major 1 as EU's fourth seed, they went ballistic from that point onward, winning it all in Copenhagen and then, in London, falling only a single overtime goal away from back-to-back -back grand finals. Can they get the shirt? TFG take it away! Relatively speaking, they're actually not that great at home without an online event to their name. But on stage, the mates become demons. Don't be too surprised if Seiko reclaims his 2022 World Championship title with his fellow green suits. And introducing Oxygen Esports. Wait, what are you guys doing here? Due to mean a number two seed anything being unable to attend, Europe's fifth seed Oxygen will be taking their place as EU earned the most points and majors this season. Archie, a clean touch. He goes to the ceiling, wants the flip reset, gets the flip reset, but he, oh! yes, he does! <laughs> While initially they couldn't quite beat Carmen Corp into fifth place in London, underestimate Joyo, Archie, and Oski at your peril, Beryl, if that is your real name. North America ain't just bald eagles and solo wonder girls no more. They are your current major champions. So which four teams are the best region in the world sending to Fort Worth, Texas for one final ding-dong this season? We can't discuss Nolly, Jane, Apps and Com without zooming all the way back to their disastrous start. 0-3 in the first online Swiss this season, then 0-2 in the second. Coach Torment must have conjured up an all-time great team talk as they'd go on to reach both majors in brilliant fashion. Most exciting via a tiebreaker to reach London. As Rebellion have to think about oh. it, well, they lost it! There it is! Oh, oh, gee! Sadly, online perseverance hasn't yet translated into offline brilliance. But in the Fort Worth sun, these guys will sniff out any potential upsets from 10 paces. Once dubbed the world's most unfortunate team after missing out on the Copenhagen Major despite only ever losing to Genji and G2, post-Copenhagen is where they really turn on the afterburners. 
Finally dodging the NA super teams in the quarterfinals proved, in Open Qualifier 5, they were the best of the rest, with a grand finals appearance on another day they could have won. At their first major of the season, they swan through the Swiss, and went into the worldwide quarterfinals safe in the knowledge that odds on, the days of always coming up against G2 would be behind them. G2 taking on Space Station Gaming. Alas, old habits die hard. Let's hope Worlds provides them a g 2 less path to the semi-finals and beyond. Going into the most recent major in London, we somewhat rudely called Gen G quarterfinal specialists. In our defense, though, they didn't exactly do much to dispel those rumors at the copper box. That was the moment Falcons were trying to play the squeeze. Oh my goodness! Falcons continue to swarm. They'll play the ball down. Have Jack on wobbly legs! <laughs> Another top 8 finish proved that Gen.G can consistently be near the top. They've also tasted overall victory this season, winning Open Qualifier 4. Pass over to 1, Jack is in! And to that, the fact the longtime Gen.G duo have done some damage in the past shows that they're here to win it all. But they will need the break to have served them well if they're to do even more damage in Texas. The best region's best team have reached all eight RLCS Grand Finals this season across online and LANs. They've won five of them, including the most recent major. Atomic, Beast Mode, and Daniel are your reigning RLCS champions for a reason, dominating Falcons to claim London's top prize. Just over three minutes in G2 with this one goal lead. Bumped off here from us. That's open at the back. And it's Daniel! G2 are just unstoppably dominant, and if they claim ultimate glory here, they'll be in the discussion for the most remarkable RLCS season ever, in contention to overtake last season's spring and world's winning Team Vitality, who won everything after Zen joined. Despite all the brilliance making its way to Dickey's Arena in Fort Worth, Texas, G2 are the absolute epitome. Beat them. You may very well find yourself lifting the trophy when all is said and done. There's more to Rocket League Esports than Europe and North America, as London showcased with four different regions in the semis, and for the first time in RLCS history, a distinct lack of a European team in the final. With eight teams from our remaining regions looking more competitive than ever, let's see how they all made it. Sam's runaway leaders Furia go into Worlds a massive 52 points ahead of second seed Team Secret. Online, they won three of the six events across the season, but it's at the lands where they really flourished. And she lost, trying to set it up! Oh, no! Furia frolicked to Fort Worth following a Femi Finals finish at the last Phaedra. And even better, they returned to the arena where two years ago, still led by Jan, they reached a world's top four for the first time in Sam's history. Now they're up against it! Hey, someone should really make an esports documentary about that one. Anyway, second seed secret pip complexity here by just three points. By all accounts, they weren't at their best in London, but they needed two wins to make worlds, and that is exactly what they got. In comes KV1. It's oh a good my. shot. It might be in for oh Marseille. My. Their target this time round will be to survive the Swiss, thus joining Furia in their South American successes. Unfortunately, Mina number two seed anything are unable to attend Fort Worth, with Oxygen from Europe taking their spot. So their only entrant is the region's darling Falcons, who made online regionals look easy, winning them all. So you know, no drama there. At Major One in Copenhagen, they were a goal away from making the semis, but they dwarfed even that in London. Can they get the shot? TFG take the shot! Though they fell short to a peaking G2 in the Grand Finals, Falcons will feel they can reach a third RLCS Land Grand Final with TRK and finally take the dub. Torsos Banana Head and all-round OCE MVP, Fever, began Landon 3 with a bang. Torsos, in that corner. Pass across, there's the shot, and the response immediately! Sadly, power done a power and went out in Series 5 of the Swiss, again! Do you hear the sirens? Because the fun police have arrived! Quick reminder though, these mad lads won every single Oceanic Open Qualifier this season, and they've got the goods to take down teams like Oxygen on LAN, and, and, consistently defeat APAC and SSA teams. Come on lads, this has got to be the one. Just one more Swiss win. 
for old time's sake. Alongside them, we welcome back the Pioneers, who hopefully will avoid a quick trip to Fort Worth and get more than the one series win they managed in Copenhagen. Across the season, they merited their place here, so let's hope we see Fibre and the gang show up as uncompromisingly supreme Australians in the US of A. Last up, and hoping to spring a few surprises, the two regions sending just one team each, Asia Pacific and Sub-Saharan Africa. APAC was embroiled in season-long battle between Elevate and Gaming Gladiators, where in the end, a single series determined who'd make London, and by extension, Worlds. Incredibly, despite the pressure, Gladiators pulled through, with a decisive 4-0 victory against the shell-shocked Elevate. Once in London, the mission was to win at least one series, something they achieved in style. One touch, and he's not going to get the follow-up. The old post open, the net spin, and the counter-attack kills him. With OCE's number two team now a realistic target, these guys better be aware when Apex Best roll back into town. After their addition to majors this season, sub-Saharan African teams have now had plenty of time to sink their teeth into offline competition, and as a region, they'll be hoping their champions-elect can put that progress to use on the biggest stage of all. Limitless had to watch from the sidelines as Mobula repped SSA in London, but the homegrown heroes still finished the season 27 points ahead of the rest of the pack. Next stop, Fort Worth, where they'll do all in their power to claim that elusive first win against an international team.